Hey guys, Blue here, and today I'm going to show you our deck profile for our Duelist Kingdom Pegasus deck. So, you guys may have seen the recent duel we had up. It was Yugi versus Pegasus uh, from Duelist Kingdom. It's always fun to go back to the Duelist Kingdom decks, you know, because they're just so different from, you know, anything afterwards, Battle City, Waking the Dragons. They're just a different feel. There's a nostalgia component to it. A lot of cards you don't really want to see too much of because they're, you know, the old school cards that were just a lot of vanillas and uh, still they're they're really cool and, you know, a uh, few changes in the deck. So that's kind of why we're doing the deck profile is uh, show you guys the updates. So starting off with Bakura Box, for those of you that do not see a lot of our videos, we put a white sticker on the front of the card like this, which indicates to you that we're playing with an errata, which is a, a modification of the effect. Uh, so for our intents and purposes, we play Bakura Box as a normal monster, just like it was in the anime. Uh, and it's Little Kingdom, so no tributes required. But that's what that is. Treat it as normal monster. Two copies of Dark Rabbit. It was Pegasus's funny bunny. Um, you know, I really, really like the, the cartoon theme. I mean, because it, it it's funny because many of you like us, grew up, if you were watching Yu-Gi-Oh!, it was on Kids WB in the Saturday morning cartoon. So it's kind of funny to watch the, the villain play cartoons while you yourself are watching a cartoon. But the cartoon monsters are fun. I mean, the, the tune archetype itself and then the other stuff that he had. So, And then you have Illusionist, Faceless Mage. So you still have that little bit of uh, ominous, um, you know, or the illusion element to... Pegasus' deck, which kind of tied into his uh, Millennium Eye and the, the Shadow game. So his deck wasn't purely Tune. It did have that darker side to it. Next up is Parrot Dragon. So not quite the, a Tune, but I mean, I can see how it uh, maybe fits in. Two copies of the original Red Archery Girl. So this deck will feature the normal monsters uh, that became tunes, as of course, as well as the actual two monsters themselves. So again, one of the differences between the anime was that Pegasus took regular monsters and tunified them. Uh, in the TCG and the OCG, we have both the original monster and the tune version as separate cards. So you know the deck does have both. So. Again, one Ryu Ran, just as the OG. Two copies of Thousand Eyes Idol. Two copies of Toon Alligator. And that concludes the normal monsters in the Pegasus deck. So then coming up is one copy of Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Two copies of Dark Eyes Illusionist. We definitely wanted to make sure that the Illusionist um, theme was present in the deck. So that when you play it, you definitely can get those cards and use them. Um, but the, the tunes obviously remains the focus of the deck. Two copies of Dragon Piper. Two copies of Jigen Bakudan. Maybe it goes without saying, though, but the way we build decks is we, we pull from the anime and we use the cards exclusively that were played um, in the anime. So, yeah, you'll see two ofs and in some decks, three ofs of cards just to make sure that we fill out the deck with the appropriate cards. Um, we don't want to try to just throw in stuff, especially because, you know, with, with a Pegasus deck like this, it really needs to feature cards from, you know, the original sets. You know, even though there are a lot of Toon Monsters, you're really going to see the ones that showed up in Duelist Kingdom and Duelist Kingdom only in this deck. Manga Ryuran, two copies. Two copies of Toon Mermaid. One copy of Toon Summon Skull. So we try to keep it with one copy of each of the tunes of a monster that was not his. And then two copies of the two monsters that were his monsters. And yes, I know there's two manga Ryoran and only one regular Ryoran. That's about the emphasis on the tune element. 
Then lastly is two copies of Relinquished, of course. Of course, that's going to be in there. You know, so that's the whole monster lineup. It covers the tunes, the non-tunes. You know, and again, it's all the stuff that you saw. So, you know, uh, Pegasus dueled Kaiba, and then Pegasus dueled Yugi, and it was a very long duel um, as they dragged through the whole, you know, climactic season finale. Two copies of Black Luge and Ritual, so you could make both relinquished, also just to increase the frequency of drawing it. Like I said, we want to make sure that the um, illusion part of the deck is also playable, so having two of all the cards just kind of makes that easier. One Eye of Illusion. Uh, really nice to see this card come out. Uh, I mean, we're always excited when Konami prints more, you know, anime cards. So Eye of Illusion. Really nice addition. Uh, we like what they did with the effect too. You know, it it um it it works out, and especially for Dual's Kingdom, it does. You know, it it it, it works. So two copies of Mimikat, or as it was in the anime, this was Doppelganger. Of course, Konami used that name for a different, completely unrelated card. So we have Mimikat. One polymerization. So while we are trying to make sure that the illusion stuff is present, Thousand Eyes rest Restrict is still kind of bottlenecked with one copy of polymerization because, of course, it is a very powerful card, and you know we don't want to see it come out every duel. One copy of Shine Palace. Three copies of Toon World. Absolutely. For consistency. I know a lot of the deck was two ofs, but we have three Tomb Worlds because it's what the deck really needs as its foundation. Um, without Tomb World, the deck, you know, struggles a little bit. So three copies of Tomb World to make sure that you can get it as quick as possible. Uh, and But again, it's stuff from Duelist Kingdom era, so uh, Tomb Table of Contents is not going to be here. Obviously, that would let you search Tomb, Tomb World and make it way easier. That is in our other versions of Pegasus' deck from the future. So that finishes up the spell lineup. So coming the traps, it's a very short list. It is two copies of Dragon Capture Jar. And two copies of Gorgon's Eye. And lastly, the fusion deck is one copy, Thousand Eyes. Restrict. So there is one polymerization and there is one copy, but overall, uh, it's a, it's a fun deck. You know, again, it's the tunes. It was it was Pegasus. Um, you know, we do we don't do Duel's Kingdom often, but when we do, uh, Pegasus deck is a fun one to use. So uh, hopefully, you guys liked it. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you know when we drop new content. Don't forget to check out our uh, affiliate link for TCG in the link below. So if you do want to build uh, a copy of our Pegasus deck, you can go through the affiliate link. It gives us a little bit of support uh, that we just use to invest into more decks. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We hope you guys enjoyed that content. On our channel, we have more than 100 different character decks brought to life from the anime. And make sure you stay up to date with our newest tools and deck profiles Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when new content drops.